Welcome to Dan. I'm David Stjernholm and you're listening to the weekly podcast from Stjernholm Consulting on how to create good structure, on how to simplify and get more time at your disposal, personally and in your organization. When was the last time you felt victorious? When was the last time you actively felt very pleased with yourself in a sincere and honest way? When did you last look back at what you have accomplished and felt proud? Every day we work hard to complete the project, to expand our business operations, to get the job we want, to have the life we want for ourselves. Our experience tells us that we increase the chances of being successful if we work systematically and with good structure in our work. Sometimes it seems easy and sometimes we have to exert ourselves above and beyond. However, there is a time for intense work and then there is a time for rest as well. You will have the energy to go all the way if you every now and then stop and pause, reflect on what you have accomplished so far and feel good about yourself for doing so. Since what are our efforts to improve our structure worth if we never get to enjoy the results, the fruits of our labor? Nothing. Right now we are in the early months of spring, at least here in Sweden, and for many it will soon be time for some vacation during the summer, a natural break when you can look back with contentment on what you have achieved. You are your nearest and dearest friend, the one you are always together with. Surely you want to be with a friend who sometimes motivates you when you need to go that extra mile and sometimes relaxes together with you when things have calmed down. Who wants to spend time with someone who never is satisfied, but always want more and want to push on and on? Do like this. Think back to how you worked six months ago. What are you doing today that you did not do then? What exists today that did not exist then? What is completed today that you had not even commenced then? What is obvious to you today that you had no idea about then? Notice the things you have done to change your workday, for instance in terms of structure. Do you see that you have had it in a certain way, had an idea, done something concrete and now things are different? Isn't it amazing? With simple means you can affect your everyday and your life. Enjoy the fact that things are better now. If there are many things which have not improved, enjoy those things, albeit few, which are actually better now. Feel proud of yourself. See and acknowledge how capable you are. Be genuinely pleased with yourself. Give yourself a pat on the back. Sure, buy a bottle of champagne, make an appointment for a spa treatment or do something else to reward yourself. However, what lasts the longest and which is vivid even the day you are subjected to difficult challenges is simply enjoying what you have accomplished that you have crossed the finish line, that you won this race, that you feel pleased and proud. Perhaps you take your life as it is today for granted and assume that it just is what it is and that you cannot do much about it. Now when you have made yourself aware of how energetic and capable you are, imagine what changes you would like to do next when you are done resting, perhaps in the fall, after the vacation. If you make sure to bring home the victory now and then, it will be easier and easier to make changes for the better. It becomes a fun sport which you are good at. You will also feel a greater contentment since you at regular intervals arrive at the goal, rather than being stuck in a never-ending progressing motion, constantly pushing on and on and on. You are most certainly allowed to go further, to move on. I am the first to encourage that. But if you stop for a moment and just enjoy half a day, I assure you, no time is lost. What is your way of acknowledging your successes to yourself? Write to me and tell me. Few topics could be more pleasurable tip topics, so I hope to hear it from you and many other Dunn subscribers. As usual, you can reach me at david at stjernholm.com. That is all for today. I wish you a productive and enjoyable week until next Monday, where we're back with a new edition of Done.